What's going on booktube? Today I'm going to be talking about and reviewing Dragon Prince by Melanie Ron. And no, this is not The Dragon Prince, the popular Netflix television show, which is super good. No, we're talking about Dragon Prince, two words by Melanie Ron. This book was published in 1988 and honestly, I must have been living under a rock to have never heard of this book before because I it literally changed my view of several fantasy tropes. Like it tore down everything I thought I knew. Mel Melanie Ron did an amazing job with this book. And I'm trying hard not to oversell it because I don't think this is one of the greatest books of all time. Like I would probably rate it like mid to low A as a matter of fact, a, debatably a high B. There were times in this book that I literally got angry at it because I thought it tricked me into reading some sort of horrible cliche. Like parts were completely unbearable because this book has two of my least favorite tropes of all time in it. It has love at first sight and the infallible hero. And when I say infallible hero, I'm not talking plot armor because plot armor is almost is needed for almost every single story. Like I am okay with part, plot armor to a point. I'm talking infallible hero. Can't do anything wrong. Uh, great at everything. All the women love him. Like it's He's the most beautiful person everyone's ever seen. It's a terrible trope. And I never thought I could see it done correctly. But I think I was wrong. I think Melanie Wrong did this right. And I can't say how she does it because I think it would be a, a spoiler. But I will say I think she does it really well. I think what she does in this book is so special that I'm making another video about this with spoilers where I can do a real deep dive and talk about these tropes and why I think it was done correctly because I do think she did a really good job at this. Okay, getting back to the review. Starting with the plot, this book, like the summary on the back, it leads you to believe it's a political fantasy with some romance in it. And while I could see it being described that way, I think it's more of a romance with a little bit of political fantasy in it. And I'm glad they described it that way because I probably wouldn't have read it. Like I'm not a big romance uh, fantasy reader so far, but this was good. I don't feel like it was done like typical romance and I am super happy with this book. This book is a coming of age story where the main protagonist is thrust into power and becomes the Dragon Prince, um, the monarch of a land where the manhood is determined by whether or not you're able to slay dragons. And yet we find out that the fate of the kingdom might rest on saving these dragons from being killed in the first place. Meanwhile, Sinead comes from a land, she's a witch, and her duty is supposed to be to the kingdom and not any one person. She falls in love and is, de is destined to marry the dragon prince, and she is torn between her commitment to the kingdom and her commitment to her husband. At the same time, the, the ruler of the land at large, the one over the dragon prince, is trying to start a war among all the kingdoms and they have to overcome everything he throws their way. This book starts out strong. I think I had just finished the Poppy War when I started this book. And if you haven't seen my review on the Poppy War, go check it out. I thought it was bad. So coming into this book and it being so well written, say what you want about the plot, like the plot not fitting your style, you not liking the love at first sight, say what you will about all that. But Melanie Ron is a great author. Her prose and writing skill are unbelievable. So coming into this book with such a strong start was really good for me. Like it's exactly what I needed coming off of the Poppy War. Right after that super strong beginning though, it gets real tropey in the middle. And like I said, there were points to where I thought I was gonna have to put the book down because it was almost unbearable at times. After that though, like there's a steady building of tension until it comes to its climactic end. And it's just wonderful. The way Melanie Ron was able to throw the story together and come out with such a great book using some of the worst tropes was a masterpiece. This book literally has me rethinking of how I want to live my life. It also blows my mind that this book is the first one of a trilogy because the way the, the story ends, this book feels both like a, an epic standalone novel 
and also the prequel to an epic beginning like just a uh, fantasy of epic proportions like this thing is going to be amazing trying to explain this pl plot literally has me feeling like charlie day in that sunny scene where he's trying to like link everything together because i have so many things i want to talk about but the spoilers would ruin it so i'm just going to feel like a mad man and move on to the next part the characters are literally what make the story so great and all i can say without giving away too much is that the characters are flat fleshed out quickly but thoroughly in that you get to see truly unique character arcs throughout the book. And without giving away spoilers, that's all I can say. The downside to the characters being such an important part of the story is that if you don't like a character driven book, or if you don't uh, like the characters, this could potentially be a bad book for you. I will say that I think that anyone who wants to write fantasy should probably read this book because it teaches you really cool things about character development and unique ways to tell a story. But then again, I've never writ written a book, so what do I know? Funny enough, the world building and magic systems, they weren't really anything truly unique. It was more classic fantasy with rather soft magic systems and classic dragon scenes. It does have some really cool explanations behind why dragons are, uh, consistently described to have hordes of gold, which I thought was really cool. But the, the world building and magic systems weren't what did it for me in this book. Like there wasn't really anything truly unique about it. The prose and writing skill I've kind of been talking about as I've been going through this review. Melanie Ron did amazing things. The way she's able to tell a story through her character development and her character arts was absolutely incredible. Her prose is beautiful. Like, I wouldn't describe it as simple. Um, she was able to keep me connected to the world and interested in the story, even during those slower parts. And all in all, she just created a solid piece of fantasy. I would be lucky to have a fraction of her writing talent someday. And that just about sums up this spoiler-free review. I will be making another spoiler review of this book, mainly because I have super strong opinions about this book and I want to tell people about it. So read the book and then check out the spoiler review or check it out if you don't care about spoilers and want to determine if this is something you want to read. Other than that, thank you everyone for watching. I post videos every Monday and Thursday, so like and subscribe to get notified when the next one comes out. Until then, I appreciate you guys and I hope you're out there exploring cool new worlds and thank you for watching.